Hey guys, this is the Electric, and today I will show you how to do this cut crease. I'm going to begin with this Kyra Roland eyeshadow primer, and this is just going to make sure that the that eyeshadow stays on my lid and you know it's bright. As a base, I'm going to use the LA Girl um, Concealer in Light Ivory, and this is so that the eyeshadows are more vibrant and you know, peng. Now I'm just going to set that with the Bella Pure Banana Powder and a setting brush by Real Techniques. First things first, you're going to get the Sleek Ultra Matte Palette, and this is the color I'm gonna use is orange um, I used this in the beginning but then I realized it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be so I do pick up another eyeshadow later on but I do use this try to gradually build up color but girl I was actually trying to scrape out that pan like it was hard to blend these colors I'm just using a fluffy brush by Ruby Kiss and this brush is one of my favorites especially when it comes to like transition shades and I'm gonna pick up this Kiko high pigment eyeshadow in the color 44 and this is good as fuck it is pigmented and you only need a little bit I broke it in Amsterdam because I was pissed off but you know that's life it happens but just blend it where you picked up orange My goal was to get an even orange shade all over the crease and to bring it in so when we cut it, it looks very sharp. I'm going to pick up another eyeshadow palette by Sleek and this one's Storm and I'm just going to use this light brown to like give more depth to the eyes. We're going to be blending a lot of colours, so prepare. You say mind over matter With an essential crease brush by Real Techniques, I'm just going to pick up the dark brown in the palette and I'm just going to put it right under the orange and all those light colours just to start darkening up the eye and yeah. Now with this fake ass Morphe 35C palette, which my mom gave me, I'm going to pick up this brown reddish colour and blend that in the outer eye corner and bring it forward right before we cut our crease. Now I'm going to use a fine detail brush by Real Techniques and the same concealer by LA Girl and just cut my crease. I used to think I could never cut my crease because of my eyelids but I was like bro I can. Then I'm going to take this flat brush by Equal Tools and get that palette by Sleek the Bright One and use the yellow to fill in where the concealer is. Yes.
Now picking up a NYX Primal Colors eyeshadow in hot yellow just to make that yellow pop even more because I think the sleek was just not enough for me. This is what makes the look the look, you know what I'm saying? With an angled brush, I'm going to get that brown from the Sleek Storm palette and just line up of my crease just to make it more popping, you know. And that same colour from the Fake Ass Morphe palette, I'm just going to blend the yellow and the brown together so we don't look retarded. Yay! Go get yourself some education Then maybe we can have relations Cause right now you're testing my patience So let's Now I'm gonna take my MAC Face and Body Foundation in C3 And I'm gonna put that on my face And I really like this Because it's quite light And it just gives me a little bit of coverage And I can just conceal what I don't like You know what I'm saying? Mind over matter but I don't mind Cause you don't mind I'm actually going to conceal with the LA Girl concealer now. I just put that under my eyes, on my nose bridge, around my nose, and on my chin. Yay! I'm just going to set my face with the same powder I used on my eyelids. While powdering, I found this little curl and I thought it was cute and I was just appreciating it, I don't know. <laughs> To bronze and contour, I'm going to use the Hoola bronzer and a tapered blending brush by Equal Tools. For blush, I'm going to use the dual fiber blush brush by Drill Techniques and I'm going to use this sleek cream to powder brush in Gerber, 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 I don't know. But it's a really nice cool colour and it's really pigmented so you only need a little tiny bit. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my MAC eyelash curler and apply Maybelline Lash Sensational in Waterproof. going to quickly do my lash line with that fake Morphe palette colour just to tie the look together. Highlight, I want to use this Kiko Wet to Dry Eyeshadow in the colour 208. It's really, really nice. And what I do is I mist my brush with the Studio 10 Glow Mist and I just lather my brush in the powder and apply it on my face. And this gives out a really, really nice champagne y gold natural kind of glow. It's really nice. I like it. To line my lips, I'm going to use the Barry M um, Chocolate Lip Liner. And I really, really like brown lip liners. It's like my go to lip liner colour. Go get yourself some education, then maybe we can have 
for my actual lip colour, I'm going to use Shy Girl by MAC, which is a really nice light peachy nude. You say mine's over matter, but I don't mind. Yes, you don't matter. No, no, you don't matter. You say mine. To set my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Pixie Gel eyebrow thing. And I really like this actually. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. Don't mean it. No, no, no. Why'd you want to say that? Say that to me. Why'd you want to say it? No, you don't mean that. No, no, no. Why'd you want to say that? Say that to me. You say mind over matter. Why'd you say mind over matter? Say my